it's when the nail is trying to come off your finger that's when it hurts obviously <laughs> is going to be pros and cons on having gel nails. I've had gel nails for a couple months, maybe half a year now, so I have some experience with it and I'm gonna lend my experience to you. So then you can decide for yourself if the pros are worth the cons. Let's just get started. Okay, so I made a list right here and uh, let's just go through them. First con is that gel nails can be kind of expensive. You have to do them regularly because your nails are growing. So depending on how fast your nails are growing, you have to do your nails according to that. <laughs> I think you should do it maybe every three to five weeks. And every time in the salon for me cost about 700 Norwegian crowner. I don't know how much that's in dollars or euros or anything, but you can check that out for yourself. It's different from salon to salon, but you have to kind of remember that you usually pay for quality. So if it's really, really cheap, they're probably going to look really, really cheap as well. Just keep that in mind. But my salon is in my town, Moss, here in Norway, and it's called Agnes. It lies between Domino's and uh, Gesport, or Sport Ean, I mean. And I'm very, very happy with the quality and the service that I get there, so I recommend that very much. But I do pay 700 each month. It may vary if you want longer nails or if you want a special designs, a lot of diamonds, it might be kind of different but it's usually 700 rank. So if you don't really have the budget to do this every month, maybe you shouldn't. Con number two is that they get caught on a lot of stuff uh, which can hurt a lot. Like if I walk past someone and they might hook onto their belt, they may, may get caught if I carry something heavy and they get caught like, like pushed up and stuff and that may hurt a lot. And since they're long poking out of your fingers basically, it's easy to get caught on stuff. The pain usually goes away pretty fast, but if you get caught on something like really badly, it may actually rip your nail a little bit. It have never ripped my whole nail off, like ever, that's, that's crazy, but it can rip just a little bit and make it hurt. And when your finger hurts, you really notice it because you use your hands a lot. Even if it was just a little bit, like the same pain in maybe your elbow wouldn't matter. But since it's your finger, you touch stuff, you put it in your pockets, use your phone, you click on whatever, <laughs> like you use your hands so it's gonna hurt. So that's something that you may keep in mind that if you're really sensitive to pain, maybe gel nails aren't for you. Third con is it hurts when they break. Gel nails aren't supposed to break but when they do usually hurts a lot. They may break at the tip and they may break at the side and they may break deeply into the nail if you know what I mean. If you haven't noticed yet, yes my fuck you finger <laughs> broke. I'm hopefully going to get it fixed today, but yeah, it hurt when it happened. Luckily this didn't break so far in. If it breaks further in, you may rip the skin and that is the part that hurts mostly because like you haven't got any feeling in your actual nail. It's when the nail is trying to come off your finger, that's <laughs> when it hurts obviously. When they break, they really break. Like when a normal nail breaks, it's usually not that big of a deal, but when you break a gel nail, it usually snaps harder and it hurts more and also you've paid 700 crowns for this so don't want them to break luckily my salon as i said agnes they fix your nails for free so i'm gonna get it fixed and it's not really a big deal i mean it looks stupid at the moment and you don't really want to look like that another con which is the biggest con for me personally i can't do stuff. Like opening a bottle of coke, that's really hard. Or writing on my computer, like if I hit a button with this part of my finger, my nails will hit the button over it. When I put in my pin code, when I use my card, I have to use my nails and not my fingers. When I use my phone, I have to like do it very strangely. I can't use my thumbs because my thumbs are huge with these nails. Picking up coins from the ground is impossible. And also, I'm addicted to lip balm and this is my favorite one. It's the Carmex one in a bucket or in a in a bucket, a <laughs> small bucket. And if I put my finger in here, I get so much crap underneath my nails. So you have to be prepared to maybe have to ask more for help. Usually people help you because it's really simple things. Closing and opening buttons on a shirt, that is a struggle. Like closing necklaces or opening necklaces. Small everyday tasks get really difficult, but that's kind of the price you have to pay. So if you're not willing to do that, maybe gel nails aren't for you. And my last con is you can't really change them that often. 
Say you have to go to a dinner, a party, and another event, like three events in one month. You can't really change the color that much. Obviously, you can just paint over them yourself, but that might chip and then the color underneath will show. And then it kind of defeats the whole purpose of having gel nails if you have to paint them yourself. You can go change them at the salon, but that, as I said, costs 700 crowners. So regular people don't really do that several times a month. You can obviously just get French nails, like the French tips, uh, which go with obviously everything and you can also not care but that's something that you have to keep in mind in case you care <laughs> so the next con is something that you may not be able to control that is work many places especially if you serve food or if you work with sick people you can't have gel nails just as the same as you can't have piercings or you can't have necklaces or rings you can't have gel nails because bacteria can get underneath it I think that's kind of weird because my nails were way more dirty when they were real because I can easily put my finger into stuff but now I really can't um, but that's the thing if you maybe work at a hospital or if you work at a cafe or anything like that in between there you might not be able to have them but that's just something that you have to ask your boss about and it also might be written in your contract so just be sure of that before you go ahead and get gel nails now I'm done being negative because I obviously have gel nails so I obviously like them and I obviously think it's worth it so here are the pros of having gel nails first pro and the most important one to me is aesthetics they look hella good well to me at least they look hella good maybe for some of you it looks fake and not nice but to me it looks hella good <laughs> my nails naturally are not something to brag about I am really rough with my hands so my nails break easily and they also get dirty very very easily like I had to clean my nails maybe three or four times a day because not that I'm digging in dirt and not that I'm dirty or anything but stuff gets caught on my nails really easily and I don't really know why now it doesn't really happen I don't have dirt underneath my nails because they're so long that nothing can really get underneath it and also if they have been dirty you can't really tell they look presentable all the time I don't have to think about doing my nails and having the time to let them dry and everything before I go to an event or before I go to work or anything they like the dot over the eye that is a Norwegian saying I re just realized that doesn't work in English but the uh, uh, which makes every outfit better like you have to have the little finishing touches to the outfit and nails are one of them the second pro is that you only have to do your nails about once a month as I said three to about five weeks depending on how fast your nail grows as I said it takes about one to two hours maybe longer if you have something that's really intricate and hand painted and stuff and that's not really too bad when you have them for a whole month when I paint my nails personally I take a long time because I need to have at least two or maybe even three coats of the nail polish then a top coat and then it all have to dry I can't like bump my hands into stuff because then it will get ruined and that always happened so now don't really have to worry about that because you don't have to wait for them to dry because you put them inside a machine that hardens it next two points actually kind of go together one of them is you're able to have longer nails and the reason for that is the other point point which is they don't really break that easily these nails are not supposed to break if they do you've done something to break them usually or they're poorly made but usually it's your own fault but they're not supposed to break they usually don't break within the month so if they do maybe find another salon but mine usually don't break this is a freak accident it happens sometimes but usually it doesn't so if you want long nails it's really hard to grow them by yourself at least mine are really bendy and really thin so if they get like just past my fingertips until one of them breaks and I have to cut them all so you're able to have really long nails without them breaking easily and without having to be that careful I can I can smash the table like this as you can hear it's loud they don't break they don't budge at all next pro is for your nail biters out there I have never beaten my nails but if you do you will stop first of all they're really hard to bite so you can't really bite them and there's no pleasure in biting something that don't budge the reason you bite your nails is probably because it's fun to rip your nails off and you can't really bite this off 
if you do that, you really have to struggle with it. So you can't really bite them off without knowing that you're doing it. Because many people that bite their nails usually don't even know that they're doing it because they're doing it when they're stressed out and think about something else. And then suddenly their nails have been bitten off. So if you're a nail biter, this might help you. Next pro is these are professionally made by someone that's educated in doing nails. They're most likely going to look better than if you're doing it yourself. I'm not saying that you're not good at doing nails. Maybe you are. I'm not. <laughs> I want to start doing gel nails myself. I think I would be able to do it, but not as good as the professionals, obviously. So you will get a professional design and you will get a professional look on your nails. So that's all my pros and cons for having gel nails. Obviously, I think that the pros are worth the cons, but if you don't, that's totally up to you, that's totally fine. I'm just lending you my experience here before you go ahead and do your nails. Tell me down below, did you go and get your nails done, even if they cost much? Did you? Tell me down below. And if you already have gel nails, is this true for you as well? Is all these pros and cons the same for you? Maybe you have more pros and cons. List them down below, that will mean a lot to me and will also help a lot of other people. That was all for today guys, I really hope you enjoyed my little video and subscribe to my channel, that would mean a lot to me and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys, love you. Bye. Perfectly nice, good, that's not a sentence that I want in the video. Maybe you have more pros, maybe you are less crow. <laughs> and maybe it's a, and it's also my, me, and it also might be, and it does it smell burnt? Hmm. Oh no, it's my pants. <laughs> They're new, so they smell weird. <laughs> so if you're not willing, clicking like this tosta dude. Um, but yeah, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Next time, many people.